Hello and welcome to Spot the Dog. This is one of the challenges in the Making Web Pages Interactive with jQuery course on Khan Academy. And in this challenge, we're going to be using event properties to uh, make the dots show up on this doggo, like in this picture, uh, where the user clicks their mouse. So let's go ahead and read the directions. It says, position the spot. <clears throat> this web page shows an image of a white dog and places a div on the page when the user clicks the image. Currently, that spot shows up under the image. Change the code to use the event properties to position the spot according to the user's mouse position. Cool, all right, so let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so we clicked on the doggo, but this dog and this spot showed up. <laughs> the dog is already there, he's already shown up. This dot showed up, but it's whenever we click on it, it just places the dot right there under the left of the image. And here we have in our code, the style of the dot. And I'm actually, just for fun, I'm gonna change this to purple. Aha, so now we have a purple dot. I think our dog might wanna be a little bit more stylish. Um, all right, so we have our image here of the white dog. Then we have our script that's summoning jQuery, <clears throat> the jQuery library. And then we have our script where we can put uh, more jQuery code and JavaScript. And they've already created this event listener and they put it on the dog picture. So right here we have this jQuery dollar sign and then parentheses with the ID of dog pick in there. So it's saying find this image and put the event listener on it. And the event that we wanna listen for is the click and here is what we wanna have happen. And that's this event right here. <clears throat> All right, so when, so during our uh, event, They've created this div, which they're storing in this dot variable. Uh, so there isn't a div in the um, C, uh, the HTML yet. They've created it here in the jQuery code. And then we have, they're adding a class here to the div, um, to the dot variable. <clears throat> and then they are appending it to the body. All right, so what do we wanna do? So it says, change the code to use the event properties to position the spot according to the user's mouse position. All right, so let's go dot CSS because we're going to, um, so I did dollar sign dot period CSS because we wanna access the CSS properties. And then I want to access the top property and specify that, oops, I don't need parentheses, uh, uh, quotation marks. I'm just going to say event, uh, event dot client y plus, oops, um, pixels. There we go. All right, so we've got our top and now it says, are you specifying the top and left? Yes, give me one second. <laughs> I'll specify this left here. Um, event dot client x plus pixels. All right, so let's see if it works. Um, all right, oh, when I click on this puppy, yes, indeed, these purple dots do show up, which is awesome. However, I'm getting these, are you accessing the page x and page y properties of the event object? All right, so because I have done something similar to this as uh, in the plain old JavaScript making web pages interactive course on jQuery, which I did before this one. I used client Y and client X. However, they want us um, to do what we saw in the last video with Pamela in this course, which is use page Y and page X. And honestly, I really don't know what the difference between those two are. Uh, Let's see, let's look at the console and see, and I'll show you what I mean. If I go command option I, the console pops up, and anytime <clears throat> I click on this doggo, it's gonna record it. Oh, I have to log it. Um, put a line in my code for console.log event. All right, now when I click on this doggo, 
an event will show up. Let's take a look at this. So we have all of these, uh, this information about our event when we clicked on this dog. If you noticed, um, a couple events here, let me collapse this, a couple events showed up because I've clicked him more than once and if I keep clicking it creates this event log for every time that I click. So let's just click on this one. So if we look at our client X, which is what I was using, and the page X, which is what they want us to use to solve this um, uh, challenge, they are the same number. So this is, it seems to me like this is recording the same exact information, which is why I'm gonna go and do some research and figure out what the heck the difference is between those two. And I'll post about that in the um, links uh, in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thum thumbs up. That would be awesome. Uh, one more thing though before we're done. Uh, let me go ahead and this code looks kind of yucky to me. So I'm going to do what Pamela did and I want to, I, I didn't want to do this at, at all. I don't like having to write out a dollar sign dot each time. So I'm going to get rid of these um, semicolons first and then I don't need these dots because we can use chaining like we learned in the last videos um, what did I do there nope that's fine whoops um, to uh, just chain all of these together so we don't have to type code over and over again and now when I click on the doggo, it does the same thing just because I used that chaining, um, I guess you could say meth nomenclature or method to type these. So I wouldn't have had to do type this whole thing out for each new line. All right. And it does the same exact thing. So thanks so much for listening and watching this video and I will see you in the next video.